a nice story or a funny story on Andre the Giant. Okay. I could do a couple of mini ones. Number one, we were overseas in Italy. He took all the heels out for dinner. Now, back then, it was like a $500 dinner. That's probably $2,000 now. Okay. And I was with Barry Darso. He paid the bus driver to take us to the Coliseum at two in the morning. That's big money. We're downtown in, in that area in Italy, and we're the only people there. Pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Another thing is, I was allowed to call him boss. Only so many people could do that. Just like I was allowed to call Monsoon. Hey, Gino, I'll be at the gorilla position, sir. All out of a respect thing. I'm not related to them. I respect them. And you don't want to mess with Andre, by the way. No. I like to just watch him drink the bottle that was this big, that looked that big in his hand when he's playing cribbage with Arnie Skolan. What did, you know, it's funny. I was going to mention cribbage. I was going to mention the drinking. But because you mentioned boss, what did he have to do to earn Andre's respect? Not be a fuck up. <laughs> Troublemaker, can't wrestle. Andre don't respect you. You know what he does? He just looks at you like he wants to kill you mm. like this. Somebody will go, I won't name these these people. Hey, boss, what's up? It's like, who the freak are you talking to? I'd leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> how long before How long before uh, he allowed you to call him boss? Oh, over a year. Oh, really? Yeah. I just shook his hand every time I saw him. That's all I would do to him. That's it. And I still, to this day, I don't remember having a, a fluid conversation with him. First of all, he's hard to understand, and I just I just didn't do it. I just didn't do it. Did, did you ever see a match? Uh, this this will be my last question, I assure you. Uh, did you ever see a match where Andre the Giant wrestled somebody who he wasn't as keen on? Maybe a Iron Sheik or somebody like that? Mm. No. All I know is stories. All I know of stories of him beating the crap out of Bam Bam Bigelow, Big John Stud, possibly Savage because there was too much oil on him, and he told him not to wear it. I don't know that. These are all alleged stories. Mm -hmm. And when I mean beat the crap, you can't get away from him. I think he schooled Stud and Bam Bam. I'm sure there's a host of others. But Nothing to do with Hogan. I think there was a big respect thing there. Mm. Well, I think so. Hogan was a giant in the box so. office, definitely. 